Get a seat. Grab a chair. John Tesla here with geekyhoo.com, and I'm sitting here with Deborah Sass, who is the founder and CEO of Space Hero, and she is going to tell us all about Space Hero. Cool. Thank you so much. You want me to look straight there? You can edit it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Space Hero, Space Hero is a global casting show giving away the biggest prize ever given out on Earth, a $55 million ticket for a 10-day stay around orbiting around the Earth. Booyah! What? made you want to come up with the idea of giving away tickets to space? So, going into space has only been available to basically people from the government, so military, academics, astronauts, and billionaires. And this is not a new idea. Sending somebody to space on a television show has actually been done but never got onto TV. CBS, so Mark Burnett, the founder of Survivor, tried to do Survivor in space. Did it come out? Uh -uh. Richard Branson also did uh, an astronaut idol, also never got onto TV. Uh -uh. And more importantly, is everybody's fascinated with space. So what better way to really bring a globe together by doing something in the entertainment business? So you've had the idea. I know that it's not public yet. It's not public yet, yes, but we, we don't have to talk about anything. <laughs> it's not public yet. Um, so if you get this launched off the ground and on TV, I know you're planning 15 years of tickets. Would you be happy if it only goes to like five years or seven years you know at this point I'll be happy if it gets off the ground and we do the first and the first year I don't think really that once you've done this once the, the space sparkles that comes with space the environment and the excitement and really it's a zeitgeist moment what does everybody want to do what does everybody every culture every religion every country they all have their own version of space and space travel and the universe all space hero is doing is bringing it together and as I said earlier when you first met me we are already partnered with 70 different countries with over 50 government space agencies in 50 different countries with over 120 private space companies in over 70 countries so we've already brought together hundreds of thousands millions of people together who really love space and now we just need to make it global I do. Um, in the panel, you mentioned that you want 12 contestants from the more developed countries and 12 contestants from undeveloped countries. I love the idea, but how are you going to level the playing field for the show to make everything even for the contestants? Very good, very good question. So, Think about like American Idol. So you know they have these various activities and challenges. When you are not separated by the nationalistic demographic profiling that our globe works on, everything is an equal level playing field. It's the first time in media that we are bringing two different, I suppose, genres of people together. So think about it like this. You and I have actually had access to education, to money, to the space industry, because we were born and raised in a Western country, in a developed country. But for people coming from a developing nation, 
They may never have had a space agency. They may never have even had an astronaut in their country. They may never have had access. They're more worried about putting food on the table, not just going to space. So what we want to do is make that those two groups of people coming together with a shared love of our planet, but also of space. And the easy way to look at that is the developing nations, they want to drag their communities out of the ghetto. They actually want to be and will become the next government leaders of their countries. West, the Western dem, sort of, you know, the developed countries, what do they want? Fame? To sell lipstick off Instagram and more fans? Not really the same kind of uh, intentions. How do you see this TV show furthering the field of science? I'm going to say it right now, ladies. Put your hands together. That was also mentioned in the panel for Space Rangers. So, could you see this TV show um, helping the International Space Station with different experiments, possibly later on in um, future seasons? Absolutely. So, the... The easy way to answer that question is entertainment and mass entertainment is how you bring an audience together. Everybody is kind of interested in somebody going to space, right? Like, even if they don't want to go themselves, there's some interest there, there's some engagement. But we don't want to tell people what to do or what to study. We're not a government agency. We are also not just promoting STEMs. But if you make it really cool and sexy in pop culture and you seed the if you seed the um, if you seed the challenges with something that could smarten the audience up, unlike most reality TV shows that dumb the audience down. And of course we will have many science angles, but we don't want to push it as just another science show. It's gotta be mass and it's gotta be entertainment, because that's where the audiences are. A final, a final question from me. The idea behind Space Hero is a really cool idea. It's bringing space travel to the masses. Um, if you had a message for anybody that wants to be a contestant, no matter where they are, and their dream is to someday go into space. What kind of positive message can you, would you impart to them as they try to reach their goals and their dreams? Great, another great question. So, you have a dream of wanting to go to space. Space Hero can make that dream a re reality. So when we announce publicly that the applications are open, it will always be free for anybody in the world. You don't have to have any qualifications. There is no criteria. You don't have to be the smartest person in your class. You don't have to be super athletic. You can actually be anybody at all that wants to go to space. And that's when you get to apply. And you can follow us on all the social media. We are Space Hero. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your time, Deborah. This has been very informative sure. and exciting.